kaga na jira bavu so that was his character wo musoma ko Yesu Kristo so activism ngafa wasajja bakiriza mu mu byawandikibwa is not bad it's a calling it is a good job actually it is the best it's what brought Jesus Christ on planet earth so if we do our activism nga we are advocating for people's rights for people to have a better living there's no crime we've committed before god actually we are doing the best job god wants us to do so any activist bigger as long as you, your heart is genuine as long as you, your your intentions are genuine you're not looking for a, 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 a political position you're not looking for money you're not looking for uh to to to, to set up an organization to get to lobby money uh from all parts of the, the, all corners of the world if your activism is genuine then big up big up we were to be era mu 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 churches a fezino but buzabuza nyo when we are in our churches they tend to misinform us they don't they don't tell us the truth at, at times not because they don't want but they don't want us to i i mean they don't want our eyes to be open to be exposed to the entire truth but if you get the opportunity of coming to know the entire truth then it's an advantage to you, you we, when you get exposed to this world when no one is leading you you discover by yourself then you are the best yeah baram siza konyo mwenna abanda ba um echinde so nako rwalero am here purposely for my good pastor i will call him a good pastor <laughs> because he's trying his best he's trying in his best to do i think it wasn't the right calling for him i think this man is not worthy to be a pastor he's not um you know there are fivefold ministries in the church so um some quote me well some ugandans take themselves in those offices without god calling them into those offices so they end up blundering and they end up um uh what should i call it they end up blundering meandering wandering <laughs> not focused on what really they say that god called them to do So from the word go I myself Buganda and take chuma cha Yesu I refused to become a pastor however much they showed me the advantages they, they were showing me all good things in being a pastor set up a church have followers you will collect money you will collect tithe you will have strong ties you will go to America you will go everywhere any any part of the world as a pastor you preach they show you all that you not pay taxes you'll have these advantages you'll have these privileges so at the end of the day if you're looking for a job if you're looking for an earning if you're looking for a, a, a living you end up becoming a pastor but not by god's calling so some of the pastors we have fall in that category in Uganda I'm very sure 60% or even 70% of the pastors in Uganda fall in that basket they called themselves into the ministry of past 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 pastorism to do pastor work yet God never called them to do that work So my brother Pastor Bujingo Alozias the one I know I knew Pastor Bujingo from uh, Pastor Serwada's church on Impact FM 
as one of the phone callers and at one time I think he was leading the prayers on radio and that kind of arrangement which was good it was a good initiative it was a good beginning for him but at the end of the day as on, on his journey in salvation and striving to earn a living and to, uh, to, 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 to move the ministry forward, there are hiccups that he couldn't jump. So he ended up, he ended up, he ended up calling himself into a ministerial, a, a, a pastoral ministry, yet it wasn't the right time for him. Tag me all pastors in Uganda. They should understand these things. Today I'm on Pastor Vijingo. And the many who are like him. Or who are about to become like him. This Bible we read. Clearly tells us. You cannot serve two masters at a go. You cannot serve Baal. And the almighty God. You cannot serve Mormon. And, uh, and, and God. You cannot serve money and God. It doesn't mean that you, you, you don't have to have money. Yes, you might have your money. You might make your money. But you cannot make money in the name of God. And at the same time, you, 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 you should not assume money from God. Let me bring that statement clear. You should not assume money from God's ministry. So if you get frustrations along the way, you end up like the Bujingo. The Bujingolism. We want to cut off the Bujingolism uh, spirit in the church today. So first of all, you should know your calling properly. And God speaks to our hearts. And that's why man is made of the body, the spirit, and the soul. God communicates with the spirit. Then the spirit with your soul commands the body to do what God communicates. So I'm not judging my brother Bujingo, but Bujingo is judging himself. He's putting himself into the judgment a, 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 a cave is putting himself in the judgment uh, 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 um, dock. You cannot. I, I, I'm really disturbed with the prayers which he was praying these days as a pastor, a spiritual person, a person filled with the Holy Spirit who, who claims to be filled with the Holy Spirit, a person who claims to be leading desperate people who need solutions. And from God, a person people following, thinking that he communicates with God daily. <laughs> daily, every minute, every second, every hour. To behaving and to be praying like he's praying today. It's so unfortunate. Whatever he's doing should be done by we, the junior, we, the ships. But you call yourself a pastor and you come on media, you start praying nonsense. Oh my God. That's the problem of mixing Baal and God. Looking money in the name of God's ministry, in the name of uh, starting a church, pastoring, doing... Hmm? Pastor Bujingo today is living a denial of or a denied life. But he doesn't want to believe that he's, be he's living a denied life. He's living in denial. Fatuma Naiga, Chumo Nirida. So, Pastor Wijingo is living in a denial. Ova Mugana Jogerentia. Arimo Ramo Wokwe Zabuza. Ungabu bagamba afukana aba. Ena chakura amazi. Chua 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 chua. Neno ungabu afukana. Inga wa mugamba timuchina bilo. Teba fukamu. Nita yaga agena mutoyo. Obo lusa ati ayo. Obo saina budebu ayo. So what he decides. 
is to kuchukula to 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 to, to kuchukula mazazi he urinates he's living in a denial he's living in a denied life and how did that denied life come to his to to, to his life one if you do not respect your spiritual father if you went ahead on media broad daylight people's ears opened and eyes watching you went live on radio tv you started malicing and you started abusing your spiritual father Joseph Serada yet you you were nothing he gave you the platform on his radio impact fm and i told you as i was studying this program i knew you from impact praying i started respecting you from impact who owns impact fm it's pastor joseph serwada so if you went that is, that is when you are still at that valley uh, theater from that time is when i started disbelieving you i've not started today but i started disbelieving you from the time i heard you attacking your spiritual father pastor joseph serwada broad daylight on media that was number 1 mistake Number two mistake. I'm going to show you your mistakes. Which mistakes are leading you to live in a denied life? Number two mistake. You divorced. You forcefully divorced your official wife. Nuruswatedi. you brought in a concubine you brought in another woman well it's your choice but you missed the calculations that was wrong for you as a leader in church you are not supposed to do that if you had your makula it could be a side 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 affairs but not in Teddy Naruswa and Bujinga Rosias marriage official marriage if you guy had not officially married then that would be something else but as you tended to marry Teddy Naruswa and you spoiled her future claiming that you are the official husband to Teddy Naruswa whenever that woman is crying you will never get any blessing i'm telling you you are living in a denied life your children one time i was listening to one of the your radio stations by the time i was still in uganda you went on your radio station you started malicing you started abusing a son in law to your daughter the doctor guy that was so shameful it was so childish it was not called for as a parent and as a pastor you were not supposed to do that you cast your daughter you cast your son in law live on radio pastor jingo living in a denied life we go ahead you promise people pentagon that by 2024 there will be i, am, I mean you will have started the foundation of the church p 
people clap their hands, they praise the Almighty God, then you make God a liar. Because to my knowledge, I was following when you're collecting the two billion, was it two billion, was it two million dollar account? You got all that money. Now, as you promised your followers that by 2024, was it 2024, 2023, you will start the foundation of the church. Where is it? Where is the foundation? Because to my knowledge, and I was following, I told you, you got the $2 million, $2.5 million. You wanted to start the ministry, to start the foundation of the church. Where is that money? So, you make God a liar before the followers you're leading. And the entire people putting their eyes on you. I mean, the entire people watching you. You're living in a denial. And this is what I'm telling you. Whatever prayers you pray cannot work. If you still have all those dents on your spiritual life. You go ahead. In 20, 2021, you go ahead. 2021, 2020, you go ahead. You ban the Holy Bibles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My God. You go ahead. You ban the Holy Bibles. Just because you find one verse missing. Bojingo, who are you? Who are you to burn the holy book of God? Christian as I, I cannot burn even the Quran. Because there is a sect of people believing that the Quran, the Quran Karim, is the holy book of God. So I have to respect their, 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 their idea or their, their, uh, 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 opinion Bujingo cha wanye daru That's why you that's why you see you pray your prayers and God is not answering them instead stirring up more anger in people against you how do you dare ban the holy books of God? You go ahead um, on one of your traditional um, uh, 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 functions. You were supposed to be, it was called Kuchara, Kuchara Kwanjula, something of sort. Then you lied. To the media, because um, these matters were in court, you lied to the entire world that you just came for a visit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You just came; they just called you for a visit. Yet you had come for an official engagement. Pastor Bujingo, you are a liar. You are a crook before God. You are a mafia who is not worth being a pastor, who is not worth being a man of God. You should resign, sit down, and be pastored, and be mentored spiritually. You are not at that level of being a pastor. That's why you are living in a denied life. Worse enough. Every time you open the Bible, I don't know whether instead of the name Jesus, it is Chagurani Sentam Bobby Wine. And you've infected that virus even to your wife, Makula. She has also started blundering. <laughs> your unofficial wife, 
not your wife, your unofficial wife, Makula. She has also started blundering. Excuse me. Whenever you open your Bible, the name that crosses you, open in Matthew chapter 7, verse 18. Bobby Wine. <laughs> Bobby Wine is not your level, my dear. Bobby Wine. Chagulani Sendam, the elected president of Uganda, is not your level. He's far, far beyond you. A hundred years, you'll never get him. He's far, far better than you. So you go ahead, you abuse the Son of God using the Bible. Pastor Adosias Kujingo. Whatever I'm talking, it's what you've been doing. So it's an advice. It might be a stupid advice according to you, but it's an advice. Look on to all what you've done in the past and nothing you've repented none of them you've repented none of them you've reversed you're still you're still big headed as you're still big headed you live in a denied life pastor Rosiasimidingo you go ahead, you side with a dictator who even God and Satan clearly know that he is a tormentor, he is a killer, he is a liar, he is a mal election malpractice demon in Uganda. You side with him. You say we want him to come back in 2026. So you build your pentagon. Shame on you. But the day you told the world that you escaped bullets. <laughs> this man is amazing. It's not a laughable matter, but this guy is too much. You see, I was in the car, then I fell undercover, then the bullets passed in my back, then I cornered 